designing and making the Gold Coast 2018 Queen's Button uh, has been a career highlight. We knew we had designed something that was very hard to make. There were some serious challenges along the way. It took a long time to get the right look and feel. Uh, it's probably one of the hardest things you've ever had to do. We first of all collect uh, the plastic. The Gold Coast City Council has been really helpful with the beach tractors that go up and down the coast every day. We've also had community groups. We brought it all back here, separated and sorted it. We then cut it up into tiny little pieces. We then put it in a tin and slowly over time we layer it up, uh, bake it at uh, its melt temperature or just above. We then take that block and we CNC machine it into the shape we want. I think you can look at this now and you can really see that it did come from the ocean, uh, that it was collected, it is reclaimed um, and it's special. It's not easy to recycle plastics, that's actually really hard. We should just consider uh, what we're using in the first place and minimise um, what we actually consume. Uh, do you need that coffee cup with the lid on it? And that's the story we'd like the Commonwealth to think about at the same time. Uh, there's a couple of reasons for macadamia. Um, one is it's indigenous to the Gold Coast. The second is it was a really cultural significant timber. Um, so when they used to meet, uh, they used to come together, they used to uh, plant seeds of macadamias on the way too, so that they would have something in the years to come um, to, to be able to eat. Uh, it was also about the coming together around the festivals and the times, um, which is really similar to the Commonwealth Games. The timber was, uh, we, we thought it was going to be really hard you know, we brought in a machine specifically to, to CNC the timber and the first one we machined worked out really well. This is the, um, the finished piece here, so um, that's the inside and the outside. It's a very thin, about two and a half, three millimetres thick uh, piece of macadamia timber. There's the, uh, the LED illumination uh, that represents uh, the boundless energy of people. Um, there's also the, the sensors on the side, so when you pass it from one person to the next, you pass that energy on so that it senses two people are touching it and the uh, illumination changes. Like every uh, you know, modern day product, there's an app that controls it. Um, so it controls the lighting sequences, the battery charging. There's also a GPS module on board so it can be tracked live wherever it goes. It's, it's really um, art and technology. I just love that it's so natural um, and warm uh, that you get from it when you see it. Yet there is so much technology embedded in it that it is really a modern day product. Seeing people's reactions to it, they really react to it in a really strong, positive, emotional way. What we set out to do was, was that inspire and that ignite, and I think it's definitely done that.